Hey, hey, it's Admiral Fats, and we're back again in Mass Effect Andromeda. So, we left off, we went ahead and got Prodromus founded, so it's time to leave Eos and see where that waypoint, you know, put us out there. So, let's depart the planet, and away we go. Ascent is go. Leaving Admiral, all clear. So, okay. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. <laughs> well, you know... Not exactly the... I don't know. You know, you, you kind of, you think back to Shepard, and Shepard was always cool, collected, always had that. Had the, he was the man with the plan. And Ryder here, well... He's just kind of so faking it. <laughs> we fly into space clouds that try to kill us too. I deserve a raise. <laughs> those remnant vaults, all those secrets. I have to go explore in one someday. Imagine flying through one. Now that would be a real hazard course. All right. Go and pull up the map here. All right. We've got 80% viability on EOS. So that's good for now. I'll double back and go ahead and pick some more up and get that to 100%. Let's see. Back this on up. Oop. Overshot that a little bit. There we go. Off to the Nexus. Okay, so up top we've got to speak with Tan and then give the radiation time to clear out on EOS. Wonder how long this is going to take? I would hope not too long.
So hopefully this trip will do it. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieved with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. With more military personnel out of stasis, those cat won't get near your vault. Or our people. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Alright. So it seems like going ahead and doing the military outpost uh, might have been the right choice. So that's cool. Alright. Uh, oh. Hello. Uh, hello. What opened up over here? Sure. Let me know what materials you need. Arms and, and armor. That's a relief. Thanks for helping out. Cool. And what do we got over here? Vehicle and general. Okay. Hey there. Just use the console to have a look. See at what I've got on hand. Hope you find something you like. You got it. Shop till you drop. Here I come. Oh, I like you. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just sell off the junk here. Firm trade. Yes, I would like to go ahead and sell my junk. All right. Uh, let's see. Nothing available there. And a model. Okay. Don't judge. I collected all the junk over there on the Normandy. And the fish. And the space hamster. So. Alright. Let's follow this one over and get... Where do we gotta go? Operations? That's where Tan is. Alright. You would think everyone would be eligible. Why would they let them even come to Andromeda if they weren't? <sighs> Boggles the mind. Alright, open door. Hello, Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall.
Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. He'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. Though I worry about your decision on Eos, Ryder. A military outpost won't help feed the Nexus, not the way scientists might have. But it will protect us from a growing list of threats. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. Wow, Ryder, this... this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. Will do. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. Something about Andromeda viability and perks could be useful. Good grief. Looks like there's going to be a lot of cleaning house here. What is it? She's up here. Let's see. No, it isn't what we wanted, but what choice do we have? All right. What How do you... the hell should I know? Quit Spend being bitchy. You have a job. If you want to keep it, do it. God damn it. Does she not know how to not be bitchy? I mean, seriously. All right. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more security, like you chose at Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. D does she actually do anything, or is she just one of those people that delegates everything off? <sighs> and bitches. Don't forget that. All right, we got Brecca. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Brecca, C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just jump into right, it. Brecca, where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. That seems like a poor design decision. Selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. I mean, seriously, what if a Pathfinder dies and it's not transferred? Because... It had to be transferred to us, didn't it? Or was that an override? No, it's just automatically gonna. You know, these are good questions. These are good questions. All right. Let's see. All right. Commerce, military, and science. Let's see. What do we got here? You can get free credits. 
Better prices. Increased inventory capacity. All right. Uh, consumables. Not really using those right now. Materials. Text materials. Ooh. Hidden resources? That could be interesting. Uh, those are for those Apex missions and multiplayer. Earn research points and... I kind of like the idea of getting research points because as it stands there's only so many you can get. So, you know, let's go ahead and go with lab technicians. I like that. Alright. 100 Milky Way research. Anything else? No. Oh, I hope it's not just Milky Way. Is that would be that'd be disappointing. Colonial Affairs notifies Director Tan of your status. All right. Well, now that's sorted. Let's um. Uh... I guess swing by the doctor and see what's going on there so you can talk to your sister. Well, let's see what's uh, what's up with her. No, no cryo bay, yeah. Hey, Alright. What's well, the deal here? Once we gather Okay. What have we got? Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. No in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. What? Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Is that you, little brother? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? No. You would ask. <sighs> well, no point in lying, right? Let's uh, let's just be straightforward. I don't know how to say this, but he's dead, Sarah. What? It was a freak accident. But it's Dad. He can't die. He. I know. It's been hard on everyone. I didn't get to say goodbye. No one did. What about finding home? Dad kept telling me how beautiful it would be. Oh, no. Okay. Yep. Well, we didn't uh, pull any punches telling your dad died, so... May as well tell her about Habitat 7 being a bust. There's been some complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. But Dad said. Sarah? I. Am I dreaming? Where am I? Sarah, I'm sorry. Her pulse rate is increasing rapidly. I need to go now. That's enough. It's too stressful. 
Sarah. No, well, you know. I'm sorry, but you know what? I'm I'm not gonna lie to her. There's no point in that. Yeah, truth hurts, but lying about it's not gonna change it, right? All right, back to the docking bay. Get going. Come on. Yes, we're going back to the Tempest and we are departing. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. You can't take a ship full of people just because you feel like it. Who do you think you are? Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a comm. Tove, Jagalesto. Tove, Jagalesto. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear, we're the galactic good guys. Efanola, Fahan and Gasad Regara. Efanola. <laughs> They're forcing us to land. Then we land. <sighs> yeah. 
Yes. Ha, look at that. It's beautiful. Now this is more like what we were promised. Awesome. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Need me to take my shoes off? I have to go. Mason Roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Hmm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? Well, let's keep it casual. Our intentions are simple. We'd like to look in your vault, and then we're out of here. You think that's simple? <laughs> you don't know anything. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. Keep moving. Okay. Okay, okay. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket. And protect us. Why is Baran allowing this? What's happening? We have a visitor. This isn't safe. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. I thought I was here. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. Oh. I really want to bring up my scanner, but. Uh... Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. Mm, yeah, let's not bring out the scanner. We're probably gonna end up with a gun pointed at her head. And stop staring. Softer than a kid. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. It's a whole other planet. Beautiful. Thank you. How long until the You're the first fun? outsider to see it. I'm honored. What, does it want? what happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the Resistance Headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. Everything okay. Fine. And we go. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. 
But you're telling me to be weak? No. I'm telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. My people from the Milky Way were bold enough to come to Andromeda. I need to be at least that bold to save them. Hmm. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there. But it was shut years ago, and the entrance hidden. We... can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Well, you know, we've, we've done it so far, so... Let me show you what I can do. I won't take one step without your approval. You have no idea what you're dealing with. The Angara learned years ago the perils of messing with vaults. So did the Ket, for that matter. We're done here. Ephra... I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave, and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. It's going to be cozy, so I hope you like people. I hope I don't regret this. Me too. <laughs> charming. Absolutely charming, these people. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Okay. Be careful out there. You know I will. Ryder, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. Well, that was quick. Don't kill yourself bringing her home. All right. No promises. Well, let's get her back up in the air. Ah, oh, that's cool.
I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to... Just listen up. Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Wait, what? <laughs> Kidding. Just be ready. What have you gotten yourself into? Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Alrighty. Well... Now we're going on a bit long here, so that being said, it was definitely one of those things where we need to go ahead and fill in the plot points here. Can't have action all the time. So we'll go ahead and stop here, and I think what we'll end up doing is next time we'll head on over to one of those planets and go from there. But in the meantime, I've been Admiral Fats, and if you like the video, go ahead and press like. If you disliked it, you know where that button is, and you just smash that until your day gets better. Or, if you like, go ahead and leave a comment. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one.